Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, more questions from viewers that I uh, see. I like to answer them in videos in general. Um, so what about Windows 11 22H2 future updates? Um, uh, many of you have asked me what I think about those, the new moments that are going to be what's coming in the future. So we know a few things. Microsoft actually has also acknowledged a few more information about these future updates. And it is kind of interesting the way that now moving forward, they're going to actually go. First of all, like we said, now we are at, of course, 22H2 or what the, uh, the um, Microsoft wants to call the Windows 11 2022 update. 22H2 is the, you know, it came as a big update. And that's because it was that annual or what I like to call Windows 11 2.0 version. But starting from now, there won't be annual major updates. What they're going to do is give us moments here and there every few months that are going to add features, change things around. They're going to be smaller also. So instead of having, you know, a really big update that takes time and does a lot of changes, it's going to be subtle changes, small updates here and there. We're going to have new features here and there. And... My take of this is that it might actually be a good idea, technically. It's still going to be, you know, at the end of the year, um, a major update overall, but it'll be done in small batches of updates that are going to be, you know, cumulative updates, adding a little feature here and there, plus, you know, the, the apps that are going to be more modern. They're going to be updated through the Microsoft Store. All of these things together are going to actually move us through a Windows 11 that is going to be evolving into its future without having anything, you know, major and update itself. And I think that's pretty cool in a way because there's going to be less, you know, downtime maybe less problems if we do it, you know, small batch at a time for the new updates. And um, I think it's, you know, it could be an interesting way to move forward, honestly. Why not? Why not move this way? You know, Windows 10 would uh, benefit if, if it had some features to have also, you know, turn Windows 10 into moments. Um, why not? I think that that could be something if they do want to add a few features here and there. I think it's not a bad idea. I think it's going to be interesting to see. Um, you know, what's going to happen is that at the end of next year, 2023, we're probably going to have, uh, at some point, you know, a new page of Windows 11 download that will include all of those new features. But overall, having subtle changes here and there is going to be the way to go, and I think it's okay. The other thing also that Microsoft now, uh, you know, with moments is actually changing. When they would make those, you know, um, events, they will they would show us things that they want to make. And they would say, okay, well, this is coming to Windows 11. And, you know, we're going to get that with the next version. Or, And I think they don't want to do that anymore. They don't want us to hope for something that's not there. An example one of the things that gets asked a lot right now. Hey, I'm at 22H2. Where's my file explorer tab experience? It's not here yet. It's going to be here in October. There's going to be an update that's going to bring this to us in October. Well, this is an example of they just had, didn't have the time to really complete it, make sure that it works right for the update itself and they don't want to be caught like that anymore so from now on microsoft says that when a feature is going to be added and they're going to talk about it it's because it's ready and it's ready to be launched within you know a few weeks with one of those moments if they can't make the cut you won't hear about the new feature they're not going to talk about it 
uh, they're just gonna you know give us information about what they know will be officially out in a future update in one of those moments and uh, I think that will give them probably make make Microsoft the teams that work on Windows at least they're gonna have less pressure because there was probably a lot of pressure within Windows to you know say well we have to complete all of this task list by the next update next year now it's we're gonna make them happen but we're gonna make them happen with these moments at the time that is deemed ready to release and launch that's when we'll talk about it no more rush into well let's try to make the cut let's try to make that date um that deadline i Maybe it's going to help also in the future of Windows 11. And, you know, depending on what happens, if there's a Windows 12 or whatever, um, maybe that could be the way forward for a lot of, you know, for the, the future Windows versions anyways. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.